Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, a very good morning uh, back to you guys. So, today my group going to present to you guys about our inventory which is which is called as Big 5 Inventory 10 or in short form we call it as BFI 10. So basically our group consists of three person which is me, I will Hakimi. I will be the first presenter and second is Muhammad Firdaus bin Osli and lastly is Ahmad Muizuddin bin Safian. So basic, uh, so today for my part, I'm in Hakimi bin Abdul Halim, I am going to to share with you guys briefly about the B5, Big 5 Inventory 10, BFI 10 and also about the validity and the uh, reliability of this inventory and also I'm going to share with you guys about the theory that we use in this inventory. We are next. BFI 10 is an is a 10 item skill measuring big measuring scale, uh, which is that it measure big five personality which is big five personality traits which is extraversion agreeableness conscientiousness emotional stability and openness basically uh, bfi 10 was adapted from bfi 44 that was developed by john Danahue, cantle and also ramstad and uh, the okay Next, uh, BFI 10 use the psychological trait theory, which is that uh, consists uh, that as we know, it is a big five personality traits that also known as five factor and ocean model. So basically, in this inventory, using the trait theory, this inventory using the trait theory as the theory that we'll implement in this inventory. Next. Moving on to the reliability of this uh, BFI 10. This actually, there's uh, a few studies that demonstrate uh, that this, this the reliability of this inventory is acceptable. For example, in the sample of American student by Ramstead and John, the, it shows that uh, the test retest correlation between 0 0.65 on the construct of openness and also 0 0.79 on the extraversion within the period of six to eight weeks. Uh, there's also example, but in contrast, in was found um, in the German BFI 10 uh, that shows that uh, re re retest correlation uh, between 0 0.59 on neuroticism and also 0 0.62 on openness, also over a period of six weeks. So this means that the reliability of reliability of uh, BFI 10 is acceptable. Next. Um, referring to the validity, there is two validity we can found in this inventory, which is construct validity and also criterion validity. <coughs> so uh, when we're talking about construct validity, um, the pattern of correlation for BFI 10 and also BFI 4 shows a uh, similar, generally similar in, in terms of the construct validity. Construct, in, which is that uh, both, both inventory measures the correct construct, which is that the five traits five traits behave uh, big five traits too and for the criterion validity uh, Ramstead and John 
reported average correlation of the the inventory uh, between self report and peer reports uh, from uh, 0 0.44 0 0.44 so uh, when uh, coming to uh, this uh, validity of the inventory, we can see that uh, BFI 10 shows uh, a very good number of validities. So we can assume that this inventory is valid and also reliable to be used around. Thank you. I will pass to the next presenter. Right, my name is Muhammad Firdaus Ben Roski, one one seven one zero zero three. Okay, I'm gonna uh, discuss about the instruction for this test. This uh, pencil paper test. Okay, as you can see, the instruction is the statement below are based on the personality you may have. Please run out the answer to this question using the answer scale below. When uh, the statement is uh, this every for the people you can uh, you can circle on the on the number one which is disagree strongly if you disagree you can circle on two if you uh, neither agree nor disagree you can circle on number three if you already agree for the statement with the statement you can circle on the number four and if you agree Strongly, you can circle on the number five. This is paper tenant, uh, paper pencil test. It also have an online test, uh, but uh, we prefer to paper pencil test. Okay, next. Okay, the duration for this test is uh quite short. It's only about uh, two until five minutes only because the the test consists only ten questions. That's why the duration short. Next. Okay, we go to the questionnaire and the score sheet. Uh, we're going to answer this uh, test like this. How well do the following statement describe your personality? Okay, you may start the sentences with I see myself as someone who. Okay, there will be going to 10 questions. Uh, I will give you an example for number one. I see myself as someone who is reserved. So if I agree with the statement, I will circle on the number four because I'm agree with the statement. As you can see, the S is disagree strongly, D is disagree, N, A and A, D strong stand for neither agree nor disagree, A for agree, A, S for agree strongly. So we're gonna go to number two. For example, I see myself as someone who is generally trusting. So if I, I, I agree strongly with the statement, I will circle on the number five. Okay, next. Okay, uh, this is uh, how we're gonna calculate the score, the scoring. Okay. As you can see here, there will be five construct. The first is extraversion. Second is agreeableness, conscientiousness, neuroticism, openness to experience. As you can see, uh, the item is one R. R is stand for reverse score. For example, if I get five for score number one, question number one, so the reverse score is one. As you can see, the number two question is uh, normal, as usual. If you score five, so uh, the score is five. And we can see number three is also right R. R is for reverse score. So if you score one for number three, so it's going to be five to score there. Okay, as you can see, uh, the extra version is question number one and number five. After you got the score, you must plus uh, the two of the score and then you will get the total score after you finish answering the question you may get the total score and you can find which of the construct is the highest for you next 
Okay, this is a scoring that I, that I have told you before. The scoring with BFI 10 scale, R is item is reverse score. So the five construct is extraversion, agreeableness, consciousness, neuroticism, openness to experience. What's if what is the interpretation of this? I will pass to Ahmad Muizuddin. Next. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you, Firdaus. My name is Ahmad Muizuddin bin Safian, 1171013. So, I would like to continue our presentation with the interpretation of this instrument construct. Okay. I will begin with the first uh, construct, which is extravation. Observation is one's propensity towards social interaction. Observation also can be defined as more extroverted people, uh, socially dominant, and may tend towards sensation seeking, while less, extra while less extroverted people are more reserved and less dominant in social situation. Second construct is agreeableness. Once positively in interaction with others and agreeableness also can be defined as people who are more agreeable uh, we would as friendly or helpful as opposed to cold. Next. The third construct is conscientiousness. Conscientiousness can be defined as one's propensity to organize and achieve. And also a conscientious person is likely to be on time, thorough, and hardworking. The fourth construct is neurotism. Neurotism can be defined as one's ability to manage stressful situations or emotions. And uh, neuroticism can be defined as an emotionally stable person is often less worried or depressed and can also be less cautious than someone who is less emotionally stable. And the last construct is openness to experience. Openness to experience can be defined as one's capacity to enjoy new ways of thinking about the world and an open person may be highly receptive to new cultures or artistic experiences or to learning something new. And also, openness to experience people, is, this dimension is closely related to one's cognitive ability. So, this is all of the five constructs that, that has been interpreted. So, that's all from us. Thank you very much.